And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The World Series on MLB The Show coming up. It's the Houston Astros taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. John Shabby, Chris Singleton with you. Plenty of storylines taking shape in this series as we set the stage for game four, Chris. Well, if the first three games are any indication, this has the look of a series that'll go all the way to game seven, Boog. I think this is a classic matchup, and we've seen momentum change course a few times already, but I'll tell you what, I think whoever takes this one will be feeling really good about their chances the rest of the way. Yeah, that's a good point. We've seen it before, even when you're down 2-1, it seems like a win in game four can propel you to a series win more often than not. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go now. And today's starting pitcher, Aaron Nolan. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, Boog, along with great stuff that he has, he has consistency. I mean, this guy's got a proven track record. You know when he takes the ball and goes out there to compete, he's going to give you everything he's got. Unload the tank, try to pitch deep into the ball game, and he almost always finds a way to make it very tough on opposing lineups, even when he doesn't have his best stuff, and that is the mark of a true competitor. And fouled off. Third pitch, 7 7 the wind of the pitch. Swings through that one out in front that time. Well, coming off of a blowout loss in the previous game, this lineup can't try to do too much. They've just got to stay within themselves, take each pitch, each at bat, one by one, and try to push runs across as often as possible. One and two now. Altuve waits. That's outside. Three two now. And that's ball four. Now a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. And now here is Jeremy Pena. And a foul ball. And a pitch. In the dirt, but kept close. And the runner holds. The pitch. Now, one and two. Altuve on at first. Nobody out. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And there's one down. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it can take away your focus from the next hitter. And that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi run home run. Another move to first, and he's back in that time as well. Here's Jordan Alvarez. First offering misses the mark. And the pitch. And a foul ball. The 1 1. Hammered down the right side, but foul. Clearly hoping he could get a swing and miss on that, but doesn't fool the hitter with that breaking ball. Nice job, just couldn't keep it fair. Right-hander kicks, deals. That misses, two and two. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself in the scoring position. 
Nolan throw to first. Altuve back safely. Three two. Swing and a line drive cut. Now we check out the Astros lineup. They're dealing with a top level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Well, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you've got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step out, mess up his timing, somehow try to get in his head a little bit, and then when he does come in the zone, you may only get one pitch. You better not miss it. Could be extra bases. Lead runner gets the stop sign at third. It's a two-out double, second and third now. Everything that came together perfectly for him right there. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Here's Kyle Tucker. And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know, if you don't get to guys like this a lot of times early, once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever if they do at all. Pulled down the line. This one hammered, but it's foul. Well, that ball is hit pretty hard and sure had home run distance, but if you're the pitcher out there on the mound, you execute it. Just a long strike, you go after him and finish him off. Next pitch in the dirt. Going to count one and two. First inning and already up to 23 pitches. Next offering is down low. He's trying to stay down in the zone, but the hitter just will not chase. Now back in a 2-2 count, he's going to have to go to something else to get him out. 2-2 two -two down. Now one missed. Fly ball down the right field line. If it's fair, it's gone. And that is gone. Kyle Tucker sends it out. And that gives him a lead. It's 3-0. Off the bat, it looked like it had plenty of distance, but there was just no telling if it was going to stay fair. He really hooked that thing down the right field line, but good thing that big pole was there to let us know. He could have very easily just been a long strike if he hit it out front any more than he did. Yuli Gurriel takes one off the outside here. And the 1 0. Gurriel gets a piece. Next one is off the play, and that's ball two. You know, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning, and it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. On the ground. Stop. Handles. On the run. Throw to first. Out number three. Houston brings in three on this homer. It's now 3 nothing. We go to the bottom of the first. And towing the slab in this one, Christian Javier. How about a scouting report on him? Well, the key for him usually centers around his ability to command all four of his pitches. I mean, he can get by with three if one isn't working, but it becomes a little tougher to keep hitters guessing, especially when you start to get through the second and third time through the order. So we'll see how he incorporates all of his stuff into this one. The wind of the pitch. In the air, right field, Tucker moving under this one and makes the grab. One down. And time now for the Phillies lineup. And the key to victory for them here, get their starters some run support early. 
Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away. Jump out to a lead early, and a few runs is going to feel like 30. Fouled off. He was late. 0-2 oh, now. Stays alive. And a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Well, he hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now two away. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Very Top good. of the strike zone. We're the seeing definite. more fastballs in that location. Hitters, Real especially Utah. with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the catcher, JT Real Muto, known for his rocket arm behind the plate. Here's your one. And that one fouled off. The wide to kick the pitch. And a swing and a miss. And it's a 1 2 3 inning. Down quickly, go the Phillies. They trail it here, 3 0. Back here at the ballpark, new inning getting started. So here's Christian Vasquez. Leading off for the Astros. The catcher, number nine. The wide to the pitch. Vasquez. And it's fouled away. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. That one hammered, but pulled foul. Here's the 0-2. Next offering misses down and away. Righty delivers. That's towards center. March settles under it. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. And it's Alemis Diaz. Alemis Diaz. Up the middle. Base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Runner on at first with one gone. And next to hit for Houston, Chaz McCormick. First offering misses badly for ball one. And a pop up right side, foul territory. Hoskins racing over to make the catch. Pitching change here, Zach Eflin. It's his job to keep his team in the game. So the batting order turns over. Jose Altuve up next for the Astros. Up next for the Astros, the second baseman. And that one lifted in the air, center field. March makes the catch, and that'll do it. One left for Houston, but they lead it 3-0. Welcome back. We head to the bottom of the second. And now for the Phillies, Bryce Harper. Javier, back to work. It's the corner. That's strike one. A 3-0 lead is great, but you can't get too comfortable. Got to stay aggressive, keep attacking hitters, try to cruise through this ball game. On the ground, right side. Altuve handles it. One up, one down. Batting fifth. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. In there for strike one. And ball one. Our umpire for this one, Freddie Ferguson. A consistent umpire by all accounts. Yeah, I think the book on him is that he's not necessarily by the book with his strike zone. But once you figure out where he's calling strikes, you can pretty much count on him to stay with that throughout the game. The next pitch misses. The count now two and two. Oh. 
One down, base is empty. Got him. And there's two away. Off to a strong start, Singy, as he's punched out three of the first five he's faced. Well, he's definitely minimizing contact. He can get the swing and miss when he needs it, but he'll also keep the defense. And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. Phillies go down quietly in the inning. They trail in this one, 3-0. Top half of the third inning. And stepping in for the Astros, Jeremy Pena. The pitch. Jeremy Pena. Little chopper rolls foul. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. And here it comes. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Brings it in, and there's one down. The battle, number 44. And here is your Don Alvarez. This guy has turned into a beast. First pitch, not close. Line drive, base hit. Throw back in, holds him at first, so just a single. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel down, any down. vibration in Good your feet. hands whatsoever. Oh, Such a good feeling. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Bregman now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Deal one. Line drive, and that's a base hitter to right. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scoring position and just one out. You got to get on your horse, like get to that thing and get it back in because he's going to come barrel around first. He's going to put pressure on you. If you bobble it or you don't get there in a hurry, he's going to make you look silly and end up on second base. Fires over to Hoskins. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Now batting the first base. Yulieski. Yuli Guriel comes up to hit. Check swing went around. Going one. Right handed reliever. Wouldn't chase that time. Runner leads away at second. Bounce to the right side. Tosses to first. They limit the damage here. So they pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Astros four and the Phillies nothing. Back here in Philadelphia, ready to go for the last half of the inning. So digging in now for Philadelphia, right and stop. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Next pitch is outside. Left hand batter waits. Got one fouled off, two and two. Kicks and deals. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Kicks and fires. The punch out there, and one away. You usually are going to see that inside fastball a little longer coming in from the opposite side, but that pitch really the got in on him right there. I mean, that's a well-thrown pitch. Tough to do anything with that in terms of getting the hands through and the sweet spot of the bat to the baseball. Next offering is in for a strike. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Right into the plate. 
Liner snagged it first. Batting nine, the center fielder, Brendan. Two oh. outs, base is empty. And digging in for Philadelphia, Brandon March. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That's back. Out of the warning track. And he hauls it in. Phillies down in order. They're down 4 0. And welcome back. John Chompy with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth, Christian Vasquez. Christian Vasquez. The pitch. Misses off the plate. And that's ball one. The pitch. Good eye right there. And he deals. Swing and a ball popped up. Hoskins pulls it down. One up, one down. Now batter. Aledmi Diaz now Aledmi. picked up a base hit to center his first time off. Foul ball. On the ground to third. Boom. Goes on to first. Two up, two down. Up next to the Astros. The center fielder, Chaz. Two outs, base is empty. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Chaz McCormick. He popped out his first time. To the right side. Takes it himself. And the Astros put down in order. Astros are down quietly. They lead 4 0. Bottom of the inning, Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. For the and a good fastball to start him off at strike one. Kyle Next offering is foul back. Next offering is way upstairs. 0 2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. And that's the first out. Man, that now slider that, bearing in on your hands like that. It's just so tough three. to fight off. It's kind of like a cutter. Oh, it yeah. just can eat you off, saw you off. Tell you what, hitters have nightmares about that pitch. Perfectly executed out there on the mound. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. The Phils still looking for their first hit in this one. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And now two gone. Passed with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no trouble so now far. Bad. I'm sure he'd love Let's to strike out the side here. Made a little statement, but you've got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. you got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with a base runner. Could become dangerous. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. Ahead 0-2 in the count. Sure, you've got four pitches you can work with, but throw something you can command. And get... Oh, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. We go to the top of the fifth. Now it's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. The, the pitch. Jose they say it went. Yo one. Ripped to the right center. Base hit. And it kicks off the base of the wall. Into second easily with a leadoff double. The bat, number three. So man aboard. So next up for Houston, Jeremy Pena. And Boog, I'd say he's due. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Altuve at second with nobody out.
the 0-2. And that one goes straight to the backstop. He's in there. At the belt and fires. That's the third. Tosses to first. Run scores, but a terrific play to get the out. Number 44. Designated hitter. Jordan. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. Oh, and he hit him. Well, it's safe to say he won't be getting invited to the charity golf tournament this offseason. Man at first with one gone. Here's Alex Bregman. Bregman. In there, and it's 0-1. And the righty deals. Swung on and fouled off. And he'll need a new bat. Ripped to short, and it's through for a hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. All over that one right there. There was nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, caught out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. And now the right fielder, Kyle Tucker. And first offering is fouled off. Runners at first and second with one gone. The next offering misses, and the count is one and one. And there's a ball. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Sometimes being lucky is a swing and miss. If he makes contact with that pitch, probably hits into a double play. Yeah, the right hater deals. That one ripped. That's bad. Grabs it right up against the wall. Runner tagging for third, and he moves up a base. So two away with runners at the corners. Now it's Yuli Gurriel. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Bounce to the left side. Throws to first, and Gurriel is out. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Astros five and the Phillies nothing. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now at the plate, Bryce Harper. Here go for the Phillies. Not the That's best the swing that ball. time from the first round pick. Harper. And a pitch. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. Next pitch just misses. And a count one and two. And here it comes. And there's a foul ball. The one two. And a ball evens the count. Two two now. And that is there. Harper frustrated as he's rung up on strikes. And he lets the plate umpire know it. Now that the right field. Nick Castellano. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. And that's in there for strike one. Out to short. The throw is wild and it gets away. Now batting, third 
Just kind of sailed that throw and pulled it across his body towards the right field side of first base. And usually that means the fielder just didn't square up his shoulders to the target. And I think that throw had just as much to do with his footwork as anything else. And it's one and one. The Phillies yet to pick up a hit here. And down on strikes. And there are two outs. And at first, Bryson Stop okay. stands Number in five. for the Phillies. In there oh, for strike man. one. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he's attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. One left for Philadelphia. It's 5 nothing. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. All set for the start of the inning. Here's Christian Vasquez. The catcher, number nine. Eflin back to work. That's good. That's to third. Boom. Picks it up. Zips it across. And Vasquez is gone. Up next to the Astros. Aledmus Diaz now. Aledmus Diaz. Foul ball there. And the 0 1. Up the middle. Stop. Picks it up. Fires to first on the run. Two quick outs to open the top of the six. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced now, exactly what he was looking for. Point. Ball on the ground. Chaz nice ground out. McCormick. Chaz McCormick up next for the Astros. Next pitch has popped up. Hoskins under this one. He makes the grab. That is the inning. 8 9 1 scheduled in the bottom of the six. It's the Astros five and the Phillies nothing. Bottom of the sixth inning. Here's the second baseman, Gene Segura. That's in there. It's 0 1. I'm impressed by the number of first pitch strikes. He's not afraid of contact. Some guys. They'll nibble just because they don't want to get hit hard. That's not what we're seeing here. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Now one away. Oh, there's the three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with Center the baseball right now. Number 16, And now here's the speed threat. Outfielder, Brandon Marsh. He's over one. Next pitch has popped up. Bregman under it. Puts it away for the out. Now batting. And now for the Phillies, Kyle Schwarber. Schwarber. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Left hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And good work there as he gets a 1 2 3. Down quickly, go the Phillies. Still looking at that 5 0 deficit. Here's the new pitcher for the Phillies, Nick Nelson. He comes in with his team trailing by a bunch, so he'll try to keep it where it is. Back to the top of the lineup, and the batter now, Jose Altuve. Really good piece of hitting last time, going to the opposite field. The second base. The pitch. He's a bullpen arm that keeps the ball in the ballpark. But obviously, out of the bullpen, you're looking to limit home runs. Yeah, and that's why he's such a high leverage arm. Just doesn't matter for him. He looks at attacking the zone and attacking hitters regardless of the situation. The 1 1. And that skips into dirt. Next one misses three and one. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3 1 count. Swing and a miss, and it's a full count now. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they creep it into my mind right now. Makes the catch for the out. Now batting. 
And next to hit for Houston, Jeremy Pena. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Some bullpen action for Philadelphia. Connor Brogdon appears to be getting loose. Next pitch misses outside. And now 2 0. Righty delivers. Fought off foul. Next pitch is outside. Kicks and fires. This one in the air right field. Castellanos makes the catch. Two down. Now batting. The designated hitter. Jordan Alvarez. Two outs. Base is empty. And next is the designated hitter. Jordan Alvarez. One for two. And the first pitch misses for ball one. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. Fires over to Hoskins. And they get the out on Alvarez. And that the Astros turn to a new arm on the mound, Brian Abreu. And he'll try to keep this big lead right where it is. And here's the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And a swing and a miss there. The first baseman, Reese Hoskins. Just missed. There's the swing and a miss. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Now and up to the plate is JT Real Muto. Real Muto. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Good looking fastball right there. Surprised he didn't take a rip at that. I think he got locked up a little bit. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. Just missed. Pretty standard high 0 2 fastball right there. If you're smart, to look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. And that one is lifted in the air. Full extension makes the catch. The batter. So a great diving catch, and that was only possible because of the route he took to get there, right, Chris? Yeah, StatCast shows us just how efficient that route to the ball was. In fact, that's about as good as it gets, pretty much a direct line to it. And perhaps he was a wide receiver in a different life, I don't know. But, man, great job to hold on all the way through the dive as well. No fumble caused by the ground. Next pitch misses inside. Ball two. Right-hander kicks, deals. And now two balls and a strike. As a hitter, you got to learn something from that pitch. He clearly wasn't timed up on the fastball. In a 2-0 count, you have to be ready to do damage. Left-hand batter waits. Hit hard. That gets through. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into now the zone, that, and then right guys you. have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like you did right there. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Nick Castellanos. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Harper leads off first with two down to the inning. Ripped on a line to center, and that ends the inning. Philly strand one, it's 5-0. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Connor Brogdon. And we'll see how he performs in this situation with his team down big. And now it's Alex Bregman. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Okay, swing now. He had his mind made up. As soon as that ball left the hand of the pitcher, he was going to swing at it.
the pitch. Count one and two. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Ground ball up the middle. Oh, great stop. Over to stop for one. At the first. Ow, double play. Just got it there in time. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Guriel for the fourth time tonight. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. All in one now. That one lifted to left. Schwarber makes the catch, and that'll do it. Back at Citizens Bank Park, now the third baseman, Alec Ball. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Rafael Montero. And a healthy-sized lead for him to go to work with. There's a strike. Number 47, Rafael Montero. That one ripped left field. That's back there. And gone! He made him pay for that one, and they close the gap. It's 5-1. an excellent swing all the way around and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the bat's been carried it out of here. This is Bryson Stoppatter. First five. offering and it just misses. Oh, it was exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning. The 1-1. Tapper back to the mound. In time to Guriel. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Number two, second baseman, Gene. Gene Segura at the plate here. In there, and it's 0 1. Well, I say it's the best pitch in baseball. Strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. He's a little bit more confidence to move through the at bat. McCormick under it. He's got it, and there's two away. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. First offering misses the mark. Now one and one. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch he'll see in this at bat to hit. And now it's even up. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that is that. So it may be too little, too late, but they're on the board here in the late going. It's now a 5 1 ball game. Out of the bullpen for the Phillies, Andrew Bullock. And now it's Christian Vasquez. Here comes a pitch. Just missed. Out towards right center field. Marsh on the move. Hauls it in for the out. Now that the left fielder, I let me do that. And stepping in for the Astros, Oledmis Diaz. Oh. 
Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Stirring in the Phillies bullpen, Jose Alvarado, the left hander, up and throwing. And a pitch. Swings through that one for strike two. Righty to the plate. Stays alive. Left field way back there. That one's carrying. He hits the wall and hangs on. Great catch. Two outs, base is empty. Chaz McCormick up next for the Astros. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Yeah, that's outside. Two outs. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. And that's through there for a strike. Two two now. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order, two up. It's the Astros five and the Phillies one. New pitcher on here, Ryan Presley. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Here's the left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. No left fielder. Kyle. And a pitch. Strike two. And he deals. And that one wrapped foul. Kicks and deals. That one is absolutely belted. And it's gone. Jet stream on a line drive. He saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ball game. And a foul ball. Seventeen. Three. You'll want. Austin. That one's on its way. No question about it. And that one will go. To back Jacks, and this club is fired up right now, Boog. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other, and the collective confidence just continues to grow. And now it is JT Real Muto. Now First pitch, yes, and he just misses. JT. This is the guy they turn Real to to get Muto. the most important outs of the ball game, but they're going to make him work to get this save. Next pitch is outside. Two and one. They get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. 
Nobody on, nobody out. Here in the last half of inning number nine. Swings and misses, and we're filled up. The pitch. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. One away. Just a mid 90s challenge fastball right there. Not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because it was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how that missed that? But you know what happens? Harper, batting with one down, takes a strike. That to right, Tucker has a beat on it, and he makes the catch. Two away down. Right fielder, number eight, Nick. And digging in for Philadelphia, Nick Castellanos. Pitch misses inside, and that is ball one. Swing and a miss as he was late. Two run game with two away here in the bottom of the ninth. Swings and misses, and the count one and two. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, all these guys need is one more win. But when you're playing in the postseason, it's not just a win of a game. It's a win of an inning. It's a win of an at-bat. It's a win of a pitch count. And that's what they're going to need to do in the next game to take the series. Here's one final look at the line score from this one, Chris. It was a close two-run game, and a couple of key moments just really made the difference. Not much separates these two teams. A 5-3 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long.